Super Bowl ads are very bizarre. Like, just take a look. <laughs> Why does this... Let's switch to FedEx. Or even this... Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse make such an impression on us. And why does that seem to be the same for 51% of all people watching the Super Bowl? Like, literally half. 120 million people watch the Super Bowl this year. So why are 60 million of those people watching it just for the ads? That sounds insane, but it's all part of a plan. Let's take a look at some of these absolute masterpieces. What kind of similarities do you guys see? Why do they always seem to take on this like insane, crazy format that no other ads do? What if I told you that all this insanity and randomness is actually on purpose? Every single Super Bowl ad costs $7 million to air for 30 seconds. I can't believe you've done this. And that's, that's wild. These companies must produce one of the best and most memorable ads possible to fit every niche possible, like Taylor Swift fans, for example. What's up, fuckers? To actual football junkies, or just people there for the party. <laughs> Companies choose three main ideas to focus on when producing these ads, and the first one is cameos. People just straight up love famous people. That's how it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm I'm not against watching a video with Kevin Hart in it or Ryan Reynolds, for example. Like, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> These two guys are just examples of people that have created ads and programs based around their cameo. Like Ryan Reynolds created Mint Mobile. Kevin Hart does his two for 24 shorts on fablakes.com deal. Cause you gonna scare people off. But two for 24. I heard what you said. Right now, get two pairs of the fundamental short for $24. Is that better? And commercial makers for the Super Bowl do the same exact thing. Example, Betty White in a Snickers commercial. What is your deal, oh, man? Oh, come on, man. You've been riding me all day. Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh. Oh! Or Chris Pratt's Pringles ad from this year. Or there was even Arnold Schwarzenegger's State Farm ad, where he's like, I'll be back, but... <laughs> Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. But as a State Farm agent, because, you know, that's something Schwarzenegger would obviously do. Uh, who wouldn't? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hot. State Farm is there. And the point of putting these people in the ads is not actually just for, oh, the people, though, they're so famous. No, these people have made it big because they provide an energy and uniqueness and also a sense of humor that can't be found anywhere else, honestly. And that's the reason why it's even more memorable than just any old cameo or any old person doing something like that. Cut the cameras. Everyone also loves a good laugh, and that's why comedy is also very important in producing these videos. Including comedy in any skit has an opportunity to draw in a very large audience in comparison to focusing on a more niche subject. Because everyone loves a good laugh, honestly. If you dig a six foot hole, how deep is that hole? I like 20 feet. Exhibit A, Kevin Hart. <laughs> He actually started off in comedy and naturally stars as some of the most comedic characters in a lot of popular movies today. We also have Terry Tate in the Office Linebacker Super Bowl commercial. Hey buddy. Break was over 15 minutes ago, Mitch! And since Terry's been with us, our productivity has gone up 46%. <laughs> We're getting more from our employees than ever before. You know you need a cover sheet on your TPS reports, Richard! That ain't new, baby! Hey, Janice. Hey, Janice. Mother I wish Reebok sent us 10 Terry Tates. <laughs> you wanna play games, Gene? Well, when it's game time, it's pain time, baby! Woo! And Ken Young in the Popeyes ad for this year. <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> You're crazy. Two dogs in one? Hooray! Come to Popeyes! We did it! Popeyes finally has wings. Love that 
I don't actually know if that's how you pronounce his name. He could be Zhang Jing Jiong. Sorry, Ken. Ken really took off with the 2009 Hangover movie, which starred Mr. Chow, who was kind of a, it was an interesting character, I'm not gonna lie. He had some psycho energy going on and was also pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Mr. Chow was very unpredictable, and this was actually a crazy good strategy in filmmaking, which, funnily enough, has been brought into Super Bowl ads. And that brings around my third point, timely unpredictability. And of course, a little finesse, you know, gotta throw that in there too. Unpredictability Predictability really helps keep you engaged and also interested in what's going on, no matter what's going on. It could be the most random thing ever, like <laughs> Mr. Chow getting thrown in an icebox for a couple of days. Or like a magic ball being thrown into a vending machine because that's what Doritos do, I guess. I don't know. Free Doritos at the office today? I think that's a yes! Free Doritos! Will I finally get that big promotion? <laughs> promotion? Not in your future. Hey, my Doritos are so good. I swear, do it. Or a dude literally picking up a golf cart out of the water in the new Oikos commercial from this year's Super Bowl. A tow truck? Man, you built like a tow truck. Just go get it. Yeah, pull my Oikos. Those are show muscles. I'll show you muscles. Buy me new pants, show muscles. Take your Oikos, little man. Protein pack to help build strong muscles. You're crazy. <laughs> Or the Bud Light Genie commercial, where you literally never know what's gonna come next. Timeliness is also very important because humor changes a lot. New events pop up every year, and Spectrum took a great opportunity in focusing on all of the U on the please help me on all of the UFO stuff this year in their most recent ad for the Super Bowl. Look at this. That's 110, 110. Pretty genius, not gonna lie. Or the Pluto TV couch potato. <laughs> We're living in a golden age of television. Looks like that Pluto TV romance channel's got those taters right in their feelings. Got you too, huh? You just can't beat that type of on-screen chemistry. Oh, this country was raised on TV. TV that was easy. TV that was free. Pluto TV is TV the way it's supposed to be. I don't even know what this is, dude. Or Aubrey Plaza in the Game of Thrones Mountain Dew ad. Probe me already. Blast. I can have a blast anytime, anywhere. And with anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew Baja Blast. In stores everywhere. I too am having a blast. Because Game of Thrones is big, has been big, and probably will always be big. People like Game of Thrones. What can you say? In my opinion, I think that all three of these concepts have been really well implemented in David Harbour's 2018 Super Bowl ad for Tide, funnily enough. What? It's a Tide ad. What makes it a Tide ad? There are no stains. Look at those clean clothes. What else would this be an ad for? Diamonds? A gift that lasts for a no. Tide. It's time for a cold refresh. No. <laughs> tide ad. Fall into the sleep of no. you. No. Tide. No. Tide Extreme. No. Tide. Tide! Meet the all new. No, it's a Tide ad. Tide. So, does this make every Super Bowl ad a Tide ad? I think it does. Watch and see. If y'all like this video, please subscribe and also please share this video to all of your friends. And I hope to see you again. Peace.